likely to actually grow again through open standards over a network from, uh, of, again, in 99, 2000, when people were talking about search engines, it was settled. There were already, they were there, right? We knew about Yahoo, we knew about Lycos, we knew about Hotbot, who was this small company uh, that didn't even advertise in a year that everybody was having IPOs and advertising. Now it's one of the old long in the tooth companies. Um, so we get innovation, participation, and culture, a networked information economy that facilitates rapid innovation through edge experimentation over open system with a new significant role for commons-based peer production. And we're getting essentially diversity gain. We get, we're getting the fact that with sufficiently low cost experimentation, prototyping, running, growing, as it were, through open standards, as you were saying earlier, uh, what you get is mass scale experimentation, mass scale failure, and occasional success. And the failure is okay, because you can try uh, again. And you're getting different types of players, both market and non-market, both young and more mature, all uh, playing uh, in this space. Uh, and this is actually what you're also getting with regard to uh, the network public sphere and systems of cultural expression, but I won't talk about them uh, now. I want to push back very heavily on what was said this morning about, uh, uh, not by, by the Vice President, but by the first speaker, on the criticality of knowing your, appropriation, your appropriability conditions. What we see is an environment where change and complexity replace predictability and well-behaved change, where innovation and growth are more important than efficiency or optimization, concept of flow rather than stock, scruffy, adaptive learning systems with late binding design as opposed to tightly coupled, slower moving, optimized system. All of these essentially make rough first approximations that can be experimented uh, qu quickly, enabling distributed innovation. You see low cost invention, prototyping, deployment and experimentation, as I said, cheap failure, rapid learning, an evolutionary process with high variation, selective pressure and adaptation. And this is independent of and cumulative to what I've been emphasizing a lot in the past, the importance of social production generally and peer production in particular. Uh, this is not data, it's just uh, me scratching on a paper. But, here, but the basic idea is this. The basic idea is that when you get the cost of innovation, the cost of experimentation low enough, and by low enough that means the capital that's distributed so that you actually have it anyway, but it also means the financial and cultural that says it's okay if you've bank been bankrupt three times, that means you're experienced, as opposed to no. It also means that if you have an idea and you go out, you're not gonna be sued uh, under a non-compete agreement. This is the classic set of studies uh, uh, from Annalise Saxanian in the 90s about